So suppose a power company needs to lay updated lines connecting these, these cities, uh, to the power grid, and so they want to minimize the amount of new line delay. And so they don't need a circuit or a path or even a, they don't need every city to be connected to every other. They just need a spanning tree, a way that power can get from any city to every, any other city. Uh, so the tree is enough to do that. So to start out, we're going to list every, uh, connection between cities from cheapest to most expensive and start adding them to the graph following Kruskal's algorithm. So I'm going to go ahead and just for simplicity, I went ahead and created a, a little ring graph of the cities. This is in no way representative of their actual locations, uh, but, uh, it'll help me draw a graph. Uh, and so, uh, I'm going to start here with my cheapest edge, Seaside to Astoria. Seaside to Astoria here has a cost of 17. Uh, and I, I, I have the list of costs written down here, so I'm not going to jump back and forth here. Uh, the next cheapest was, uh, Corvallis to Salem, so we'll go ahead and we'll add that. The next was Portland to Salem, so we'll add that. The next one was Corvallis to Eugene, so we'll add that. The next one was, uh, Corvallis to Newport. Now notice before, with sorted edges, we would not have added this, but it's just fine to add it here because, uh, it's no problem to have degree 3 when we're talking about a spanning tree. Uh, the next cheapest edge is Salem to Eugene, but we're not going to add this edge because if we were to add this edge, we would get a circuit between these three cities. And so we are not going to add that edge and instead move on to the next cheapest, which was, let's see, Portland to Seaside. So we'll connect Portland to Seaside. Uh, continuing on, the next cheapest is Newport to Salem, but that would create a circuit, so we're not going to do it. Uh, next cheapest is Corvallis to Portland, but that would also create a circuit. Uh, how about Eugene to Newport? Nope, that would create a circuit. How about Portland to Astoria? Nope, that would create a circuit. How about Ashland to Crater Lake? Oh, that's fine. Ashland to Crater Lake is fine. Uh, how about Eugene to Portland? Uh, Eugene, where's Eugene? Eugene to Portland. Nope, that creates a circuit. Uh, how about Newport to Portland? Nope, that creates a circuit. How about Newport to Seaside? Newport to Seaside. Oh, that one's kind of tricky, but that is also creating a circuit, so we're not going to do that one. Uh, how about Bend to Eugene? Uh, Bend to Eugene, that's fine. That's no problem there. Uh, how about Bend to Salem? Uh, no, that would end up creating a circuit, so no Bend to Salem. Uh, how about Astoria to Newport? Astoria to Newport, kind of hard to see there, but it would create a circuit, so no, no, I'm going to skip that one. How about, uh, Salem to Astoria? No, that one would create a circuit. Uh, how about Corvallis to Seaside? Corvallis to Seaside, nope, that would create a circuit. How about, uh, Portland to Bend? Portland to Bend would also create a circuit. Uh, how about Astoria to Corvallis? Uh, Astoria to Corvallis. Astoria to Corvallis would also create a circuit. <gasps> How about Eugene to Ashland? Uh, Eugene to Ashland. Oh, I don't think, see any issue here. Eugene to Ashland is fine, and now we're finally done. Notice that before we added that edge, this Ashland to Crater Lake connection was not connected into the rest of the graph, but by adding Eugene to Ashland, we now have a connected graph, and that is our minimum cost spanning tree with a total length of 695 miles.